get in a comfortable seat and just place your hands on top of your knees and try to sit straight up and you can close your eyes and start with some breathing. And when you're breathing, your focus is really to inhale for four, hold it for four, and then exhale for four, either four to six counts. So you do it at your own pace, just deep inhaling, And exhaling. Just keep going at your own pace. Inhaling. And exhaling. And you can open your eyes. And now we're gonna do some movement and we're gonna still inhale and exhale. So let's inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale up. You should take your head up and look up in the ceiling if you can. Exhale to heart center. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale to heart center. Now let's do some little circle rows, just go whichever direction, and then we're going to switch directions, just do what's comfortable for you. Come back to center. This time we're going to inhale up again. I'm taking my right arm down to the floor and then I'm just, I'm letting it slide out as I lean over to the right side and go to your level of comfort. If you want to bend that elbow down more, then you can get, okay, bring it back up. Taking my left arm down and I'm going, leaning over to my left. Try to keep your arms straight, meaning you may not go far. Yeah, good adjustments. I see you guys. Now let's bring it up again. Let's go to the right side again. And you don't have to go far. You wanna make sure you're sitting straight up and leaning your body over. You don't wanna cave in. Now let's inhale up and go over. To the left side. Here. 
Now just kind of circle down and bring your arms out in front of you. Now I'm sitting in, you know, a cross seated position. You just put your legs, whatever's comfortable for you. And you're gonna really feel this stretch in your, I feel it in my butt, my butt, my buttocks. Just stretch your arms out as far as you can. Now pull them back in. We're gonna do cat cow seated like this. So I'm gonna do the angry cat first. Let me turn. You don't have to turn. I'm just turning so you can see my what my back is doing. I'm sitting straight up and then I'm gonna let my back out. I'm not like holding on to my legs. Now let it go. And now I'm caving in. You should really feel that in your upper, in your lower back. Now we're gonna do angry cat again. Now cow again. Okay, today we're, we're gonna do core work today. So I probably we need to stay sideways. Yeah, I'm gonna stay sideways. So the first thing you're gonna do is you gonna you guys just watch me before you lay down. You're gonna lay down, and, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do crunches. We're just gonna bring ourselves up. And then we're gonna take our feet, we're gonna be laying down and we're gonna bring our feet up. Feet up and down. And you're gonna feel this in your core. So when I tell you to bring your feet up, you bring your head down so that you can get a break, then you're gonna bring your feet up. All right, so let's lay down. First, we're gonna take a bridge pose to get ready. And bridge is just, Bringing your hips off the floor. This is bridge pose. You're bringing your hips off the floor. Let me get, I'm gonna get a little closer. Bridge pose. Yeah. Bring your hips off the floor. And then roll back down. We're always inhaling and exhaling. Inhale up. Now roll back down. Now when you're doing these sit-ups, don't pull on your neck. Just, it's a, it's a really slight tuck. You're just coming up. You don't even have to put your hands behind your head, but my hands are behind my head, but they're not even touching my head. So let's start sitting up. And just go slowly. All right, release. Let it go. So now let's bring our feet up. So you're laying down, bring your feet up to 90 degrees and then bring them down. Feet up to 90 degrees, and then bring them down. Feet up to 90 degrees. When you bring them down, you're touching the floor. Feet up to 90 degrees, and then you're bringing them down. Feel that in your core, I'm sure you do. Okay, release. 
Now we're going to do bicycles. Leaving your feet up, and then you're going to crunch from side to side. And you know what? You can leave your head on the floor and just bring one leg in at a time. You don't even have to bring your head up. Now you'll get a deeper stretch if you bring your head up. But if you have neck issues, if your neck is tired, just leave your neck down. All right, good job. Now let's just release. Let's bring our knees into our chest and rock it a little. I'm inhaling and exhaling as I'm rocking in. Let's bring our right leg into our chest and release our left leg. So our right leg is in our chest, hugging it in tight. And then let's release it over on our left side. Our right hand arm is extended. And I'm just looking right up into the ceiling or you can, if you don't have any neck issues, you can look towards that arm, the right arm. Inhaling and exhaling. I should really feel good in your side body. Now let's do, let's roll back to center. And let's do some more little rolls, side to side to release that pose. And then let's bring our left leg into our chest. The right leg is straight out. Hug that left knee in. And then bring it over to the right side of body. The left arm stretches out. You should feel a deep stretch with this left leg over your body. You're always inhaling and exhaling. And let's come back to center. And since we're already here on our back, let's go to Happy Baby. Take your left foot in your left hand, right foot, right hand, happy baby. And let's rock our baby. And to get a deeper stretch, you're pulling down on your feet but then you're also pushing up with your feet. 
but you take it as deep as you want to with your happy baby. Inhaling and exhaling. Now let's just take our legs straight up in the air. It's always good to reverse the blood flow. So legs in the air does just that. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna do more core work. So you may wanna take your hands under your butt. If you need to watch me, I'm gonna show you real quick. But all you're doing is sitting on your hands, and you're taking your legs down together. And then you're bringing them back up together. Now, it may be easier for you to take one leg down at a time. Like, take the right leg down, bring it back up, take the left leg down, bring it back up. Or you can do both at the same time. You're inhaling and exhaling the entire time. Get yourself a rhythm. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Just go at your own pace. Just keep going at your own pace. And when you finish that cycle, just take your legs back up. And let's flex our toes. Let's straighten them straight up and then flex. Toes facing your face and then toes facing the ceiling. Toes facing your face. And then let's do some ankle circles. Just circle your ankles. You may need to bend your feet. Bend your knees a little to make these ankle circles. All right, so let's roll up. Can you roll up for three? Roll, rock and roll. Two. Can you rock and roll up? <laughs> just, just get up. However, however you get up, just rock and roll up. <laughs> and then get on your knees. On your knees, we're gonna do the, the regular cat cow. Take your time, take your time. We're gonna do more core work. Okay, I'm going to go into Angry Cat first. And then Cow. And just go at your, your own rhythm. It's like I really need Cow. Oh, oh. Angry Cat. Inhaling and exhaling. Now, on all fours, 
what we're going to do is we're going to take our right leg back and then we're going to bring our left arm up and then we're going to crunch it in for five take it back out bring it in four take it back out bring it in three take it back out two and one this time bring it in hold it hold it hold it in hold it in all right release and then let's do some circles it's like you're going from angry cat to cow just whatever gyration you want to move in Now, I'm going to do the opposite side. I'm taking my left leg up and my right arm out. So bring it in for five. Take it out. For four. Bring it in for three. Take it out. For two. My knee is actually touching my elbow. For one, bring it in, bring it in, keep it in. And then release. And let's do another round with cat cow. Just because it feels so good. This time when I'm doing cat cow, when I do my cow, my cat, I'm kind of leaning back towards my feet just a little bit. Then when I do cow, I'm leaning forward towards my hands a little bit. Gives you a deeper stretch. I'm in my cat and I'm leaning back a little towards my feet. Then I come into my cow and I'm leaning a little forward. Now let's go to child's pose. Give you a little break. Child's pose. Just take some deep inhales and exhales here. Just relax in that child's pose. Now let's bring it up to puppy pose, which is you just bringing your butt up. You're just bringing your butt off your feet. It's the same stretch, you're just bringing your butt off your feet. And you're really um, taking your arms out further. And if your shoulders are tired, you can bring your arms down on the floor, cactus arms. Just make a tree with your arms. Like a football goal post. My arms are tired, so I'm gonna make a goal post. And from that pose, we're gonna rise up, rise up. Now I'm on my just uh, 
Hold up. So hard to see. I'm taking my left leg out. You know what? Come here, Devon. Adjust this for me. Just hold up. I'm getting my son. I want to get the right. Yeah. Up. Uh, perfect. Perfect. A little bit more up. Okay. So you see my leg is out. My arms are just going to go straight up. I got my left leg out. And what I'm going to do is take my left arm over. And then I'm doing another side body stretch. My left arm is just sliding down my leg. I'm looking up into the ceiling. My right arm is going over. Now we're going to reverse it. Taking my right arm on the floor. And I'm taking my left arm overhead straight. Go at your own pace. Now let's go over again. Taking my left arm, sliding it down my leg. If you want to just keep your right arm up, that's fine. I can actually bring it over a little for the advanced people we have on the call. And I can give it more of a side body stretch. I'm inhaling and exhaling. And now I'm bringing my arm down, right arm down. Left arm overhead. And then we're going to roll it down. And we're going to, I still have this leg stretched out. So this is a modified child's pose. My left leg is out. Now slowly come up. You're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take my right leg out. And if you get tired, stop, take a break. Do what you can. My right arm, my right leg is out. I'm just gonna start sliding my arm down my leg. Taking my left arm over, over. You're gonna sleep so good tonight. Now let's reverse it. I'm taking my left arm on the floor. I'm taking my right arm over. One more time, I'm going back over. Now, when I had my double mastectomy, I couldn't do any of this. It took years of my oncologist telling me the, oh, you need to do yoga. Oh, you need to do yoga. It was the hardest thing ever. Trying to do this stuff. Let's take this left arm back down. Trying to do any of this after going through chemo, after having a double mastectomy. Now bring this arm around. And then you're doing another modified child's pose. This right leg is still out. Take a break, we're almost done. It's only been 30 minutes though. But when you're doing core work, you 
more intense. All right. Come back and if you can sit on your feet, I know some people can't really sit on their feet and it puzzles me, but if you can sit on your feet, now I'm, I have my toes so that I'm getting a stretch in my toes, but you may not be able to, and that's okay. Just gonna sit back on my feet, stretching out the toes, because they need to be stretched too. And my chest is out. Almost like the cow pose, chest is out. And let's just sit here and breathe. And if it becomes too much, just pop your feet down. Just do what you can. There's always modifications in yoga. Always, always modifications. I watch Andrew put it out nothing at the end. Right now, we are in real life. Mute yourself, Charlisa. Let me mute this person. Okay. <laughs> okay, now from our from our toe stand, we're gonna go to this lovely pose here which is so good for you, stretching out your hips. Just do what you can. If you can't sit your, um, you wanna just be, you wanna sit straight up. <sighs> Best you can. But some of you may lean forward, that's okay. You'll get there. This hip opener is very good. And we did, well, I'm not gonna do this. Bring your hands down and fold over slowly. Bring your feet in and just hang in rag doll first before we stand up. Hang in rag doll and you can You can make some circles. And you can just hang, bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees. Gotta be careful when you're doing forward folds because some people get lightheaded. Now we're gonna keep our left leg bent and we're gonna straighten our right leg. My left leg is bent. Now let's switch it up. I'm straightening my right, my left leg and I'm bending my right knee. Gives you a deeper stretch. One more time, bend the left leg, straighten the right. Now let's straighten the left leg and bend the right. Always inhaling and exhaling. Now we're gonna roll it up slowly, 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 slowly to standing. Slowly rolling up to standing.
and just shake it out. Let's do a little twisting. Then we're gonna do some bal balancing. All right. Now we're gonna do, now some of you may need to get near something so that you can hold on to a wall or a chair. We're gonna do tree pose. And the most important thing is not to put your knee, your foot on your knee. You wanna bring it up, all the way up till you're growing, or you wanna just keep it down. You can keep it down. I'm gonna bring mine up. And if you need to hold on, balancing is so good as we age. We need good balance. I'm bringing my arms to heart center. Then I'm gonna raise my arms up, but you can, you do what you need to do to keep your balance. Because once you start moving your arms, it's hard to keep still. You're inhaling and exhaling. Then let's let it go. Now let's do some inhales with our arms. Inhale up. I'm looking up in the ceiling. Exhale. Bringing my arms to heart center. And then let's just take them straight back up from heart center. Take them up. And then let's just kind of take them out. How we just had them in that tree. I'm going to lean back just a little bit and look in the ceiling. I'm going to bend my knees if I need to. And bring them back to heart center. Take them down to Tadasana. Now I'm going to inhale up again. Bring my arms to heart center. And then I'm going to take my tree with my left leg. And you know what? If you need to hold your foot, this is another option. You can hold your foot. If you want to, if you want to try it up here, you can hold it. If you can have balance like this and then just bring one arm to your heart. Just, you can just put your hand on your heart. So it's up to you. You can hold it. Whatever's easier for you. Just express your tree. Just don't put your foot on your knee and you'll be fine. You're inhaling and exhaling. And let it go. We're gonna do one more pose. Just fold over, fold over on your mat. Just bend your knees and fold over. Fold over. My knees are bent, my hands are on the mat. And we're gonna walk our hands out to the front of our mat. I'm in a plank pose, another core pose. 
If you need to put your knees down, put your knees down. I get it. Put your knees down if you need to put your knees down. Because ultimately, we're going to just, I'm just going to slowly, slowly, slowly go down and lay on my belly. You can't see me, so I got to adjust my monitor. So I'm laying on my belly. I'm a mat. Ah. Here we go. You just land on your belly. Take one cheek. Just lay down and relax. One cheek. And then just flip your head to the other cheek. Now we're going to bring our arms out to a T. My arms are straight out. My chin is on the mat. My feet are on the floor. But what we're going to do is we're going to rise up where we raise our arms up, our chest up, our feet up like we're flying. This is another core pose. When you can't hold it, just release. Don't hold your breath. Take it up. And when you need to release, release. You can just keep flying. And when you need to land, land. But everything is coming up. Your arms are coming up off the floor. Your chest is coming up. Your feet are coming up. You're looking straight ahead. Or you're looking down at the mat. Look down at the mat. So that your neck... You're flying and you're landing. And then we're going to go back to child's pose. Just get a comfortable child's pose. Inhaling, exhaling. And then you're going to come right back to seated how we started class. Just take your time, get back to seated. Do some little shoulder rolls. Your shoulders may hurt a little. Just sit there and close your eyes. Just like we began class, inhaling and exhaling. We're going to end in meditation. And meditation is just whatever 
you want to think about or pray about or whatever. Because the fact of the matter is, people ask, how can I clear my head when I meditate? The more I try, the more my thoughts seem to arise. This is completely natural because trying to clear your head is also a thought. Do not try to get rid of your thoughts. It won't work. Instead, witness the emergence of a thought. Witness the disappearance of a thought. The moment you become aware of it, the mind quiets and becomes clear. So just take inhales and exhales. And if you want to lay down on your mat and in and savasana, you're welcome to. But I thank you for joining today. It's been such a great honor leading you in your yoga practice is so very good for us. Yoga is one of those exercises that is just, you know, people run, but later in life they have problems with their knees and their back. And yoga is one of those things that you can do these movements every day and you really won't harm your body as long as you're not forcing yourself into a pose that you can't do yet. If you honor your body and take your time learning the practice, you will, you will get so many benefits out of yoga. My oncologist encouraged me all the time and I'm so glad. And I used to cry. I used to cry because it was so hard to do the poses. And I'm just looking around like, how can they do these things? But slowly, slowly, it took time for me to get the strength. And now I really enjoy yoga. I, I, I just came from a yoga class. I did a yoga class from 515 to 615 at a yoga studio. Then I rushed home to do this with you guys. And then in the morning, I'm going to go to yoga at 6 a.m. And then I'm going to come home and do another class from 7.30 to 8 o'clock online. But it, it's just, I really want people to understand the, the, what yoga does for the body. Thank you.